dial it up just a little bit. We're going to take our left click on bevel and emboss so it's sticking out just a little bit. Uh, I think I'll keep it at the settings it's at right now. I'm going to go ahead and change this to down though. And I'm going to go ahead and add a small drop shadow. For me that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to take the distance, bring it back just a little bit. So about two looks good. And then the size, bring size bound to about, we'll say three. So distance two, spread zero, size three. You go ahead and click OK. And for the shine, obviously we don't want a white solid bar. So I'm going to go to opacity, left click, and I'm just going to drag it down until I see a color or version of it that looks good to me. Let's see here. I'm going to go with about 90. It looks good enough to me. Okay. And all that doing, all that is doing is making our pure white shine layer that we created a little bit op opacity. It's taking the opacity down so it's not completely solid. You can see through it a little bit and it brings out the black. So it looks more like a shine than it does just a big white block over the top of our nav bar. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is just create a new text layer. So go ahead and left click on this. And for this font that I'm using, I'm just using an Arial Black. Feel free to use whatever you want. There's a big list. But I'm using Arial Black for the, st the style that I'm looking for. Go ahead and take a layer. We're going to call it let's see, About. I think that was our first one. So we have About, Contact, Demo, Images, and Music. So we'll use About first. It's a little bit big. So I'm going to bring mine down to about 30. All right, great. Push it over to the left. And I want my about layer, if you'll see over here, above both the shine and the nav bar. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it. The nav bar will conceal it. So make sure it's above. And we're going to double click on that and just do a little bit of styling. I'm going to do an inner shadow. And that's a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring the distance back to about 2. And the size back to about 3. All right. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to this and just hit control, hold down the control button, and then J. And what that does is it duplicates the about layer. Okay. So the next one I'm going to do is left click up here. Make sure you have the move tool. Left click on this. Hold down the shift button so it stays aligned with the other about. And just drag it over to about that far. And again, I'm going to repeat that process by holding control J. Left click and drag it over. Again, control J, left click, bring it over, control J, left click, bring it over. And all that's doing is copying all these texts. Don't worry about it saying copy one, two, three, four. We're going to go back right now and type in words that will change the, the title of these different text layers so it'll still be organized. All right, so just make sure we're on this one. I like to click the I so it shows me which one. If you click it fast, it'll like blink a little bit. It shows you which text layer you're on. We can go back here to the text layer, left click on that, and let's see what our next one was. Contact. So we're going to go ahead and type in contact. As you can see, it ran off a little bit because it's too small. Let me get to it. Come on. All right. So there's the word contact, and you'll see right here it changes it in the text layer, so it's still organized. We got the about, the contact, and we'll type in the next one, which was, I believe, connect or demo. Word demo. Images. And music. Excellent. The next thing we want to do is just straighten them out a little bit so they're organized. Uh, let's see, I'll start with music and bring that over. So I'm going to go to up here to the move tool or the select tool and just hold down shift. That's just going to keep all your images aligned. So holding down shift and just dragging it over. And all I'm going to do is space these out to the way I want. I usually like everything to be really balanced. Feel free to change it any way you want that looks best on your screen. But I'm going to.
that looks good enough to me. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into the shine layer and just bring that opacity down just a little bit more. Bring the opacity down to about 80 so I can see my, maybe even a little bit more than that. Yeah, 75. So I brought my shine layer down to 75 just to make my buttons look a little bit more visible. Okay, now the next, the next text layer I'm going to add is actually going to be right above my banner layer. So I have my banner layer selected. Go ahead and left click on your text and highlight an area about that big. We're going to call this, I'm going to call it my site because that's what I had when I first showed you guys. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the my and just make it a little bit bigger. Cool. Alright, so I have the word my site right here. And I want to move that. So again, here it is above the banner layer. I'm going to left click on the move tool and just drag it so it's aligned with my nav bar. So it looks very much like that. And I'm going to double click on that. Add a quick inner shadow. So left click. Now we're in the layer styles box. Go ahead and left click inner shadow. And for me, that's just a little bit too much. So we're going to left click inner shadow again and bring the distance down to about two and the size down to about three. So it's very subtle. It makes a big difference though. If you look at this, it just looks like a plain my, my site. You click on that very subtle inner shadow, just adds a little bit more dimension to it. We're gonna go ahead and click OK on that. And the next thing we're gonna do is add our content. And for this, I'm gonna choose to left click, hold this down, rounded rectangle tool. Now over here in our layers, let's make sure we stay organized. Let's left click on background, and then we're going to left click on layer, slide down to new, and then click on layer. For this, we're going to call it content one. All right, great. And simply click and drag. This doesn't really need to be lined up with anything, but it's going to hold whatever content you have. For demonstration purposes, all we're going to do is add some lorem ipsum text, and I'll show you a website where you can grab that really fast. Instead of it just looking blah, 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 it looks like regular characters and words. And if you'll notice, you can't see what I just created was because it's white. It matches the background. So if I grab my paint bucket tool right here, and let's say I click on a little bit. I just left click on the, the color palette here, little color button bring it down to a very light gray and then click OK now we have a paint bucket tool and just left click where that is now you can see the image that I just created the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of style to that so I'm going to add a drop shadow and bevel and emboss alright so we've got bevel and emboss we're not going to do anything else to it we're going to leave it as is the drop shadow is fine, we'll just leave it as is. So all you have to simply do is check drop shadow and check bevel and emboss. It's keeping that 90 degree angle down so it's uniform, which is great. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add in our header text. So go ahead and highlight an area. I usually like to make my highlighted areas a little bit larger than what I know I'm actually going to use so it doesn't run off like we saw previously in the contact. I, I just don't like when that happens. Okay. So now that we have that selected, we're going to go ahead and make sure it's left aligned. It just makes it a little bit simpler. And we're going to type in the word header. And you can't see it again because I was using the gray text down here. So what I'm going to do is left click on this and bring this back up to white. 